These are some Vim commands I wish I knew sooner. Feel free to skip around because probably there'll be some that you know. So the first one is high, medium, and low is the way I like to think of them. Let me turn on keycasting real quick. Some of you have asked what thing I use for that. It's called keycaster. Um, I think it's on all platforms. So high, medium, and low, capital H, M, and L. If I type um, capital H, it'll take me to the high point of the document which is determined based on some kind of math. Um, if I go to Zen mode, it's based on some kind of a line number thing. Um, so high will take me there, M will take me there, L will take me there. I don't use these all that often because it's a little bit unpredictable in my experience, like exactly where on screen you'll end up, especially if you have like scroll off enabled to a certain amount. But if you generally know you want to go to the high point of the screen, the medium point, uh, it's not a huge jump, but if I were to zoom like way out, then you'd see a bigger jump. So um, H, M, L, bigger jump. Uh, I'm just zoomed in for the purposes of this tutorial, but that one's kind of interesting. The jump list is the next one, which is extremely useful. So basically the jump list just keeps track of all your movements um, and you can traverse it with these two commands, control I and control O. So let's say I open another file. I'm gonna zoom in a little more. Uh, let's open up this lib file. And if I want to go back, instead of using telescope or like a file explorer to go back, you can just hit control O and that'll take you back to your previous jump. And then control I will take you forward. Um, so for another example, I'll go to the top of this file then I can go control O, control O to go back in this traverse order. Um, and then control I to go back to the original. Super, super useful if you want to go somewhere and then go right back. I didn't know about this for the longest time when I figured it out. It's a huge game changer because you can kind of just like spam these two to go like back and forth through all your jumps and, and just like look for the place that you're, that you're looking for. If you're kind of moving between two or three functions or classes or files or something, just an awesome game changing command. Um, the next up is you can have visual and then go to visual lines. So maybe this is an obvious one for a lot of people, but let's say I'm in this function and I want to delete the whole thing. V around uh, brackets. And then if I want to select that whole um, body, I'm in visual mode. I can I can type um, capital V and then I'll go into visual line and select the whole thing. Um, some people would say here, uh, just use a tree setter text object and, and set it up so you can V around function. If you don't know what that is, um, this is plugin that lets you do it in NeoVim. Personally, I'm kind of, I don't know if this is the correct call, but I'm a little bit against extending the default key bindings of Vim just because when I have like a vanilla config because I'm SSHing into a server or something, I don't want to be super reliant on things like that. Like I'm fine with plugins, but if you're changing the fundamental key behavior of Vim, I think that's like a little bit too far. Not to say there's like not huge productivity gains to be made there, but I'm personally, I don't really like that. Um, all right, next up, you can uh, move to the two different sides of selection. So if I select this whole block, V around block, um, typing O will take your cursor to the, the ends. You can see it's jumping back and forth there. This is often useful on a bigger thing. So if I select around this, it takes me to the two visual sides of it. That's pretty nice. Um, if you wanna see like the other side of, of something. Another one I use from time to time is GV which takes you to the last visual selection, GV. It'll just reselect what you had previously selected. That's kind of nice. Uh, don't use it super often because I often forget about it and I'll just resort to simpler movements, but if you can remember it, it's a solid one. GI will take you to the previous insert. So if I type up here, um, and then go to the bottom, then I can go GI and it'll take me back there and put me in insert mode. That's pretty solid. Prefixing insert mode with a number is, I thought, kind of useless at first, but it's actually, I find I use it, f at least for example things, like more often than you would think. For testing a macro or something, I want the line test 500 times, like um, 500, I test, enter, escape. And then we have a cool little alternating thing going on here. 